Question one. What is the disadvantage in comparing line segments by mere observation? So this is our first question. We will construct four lines, namely AB and CD and other two. Here AB and CD, you can clearly observe that AB looks bigger. But in case of these two, we cannot exactly say that which one is bigger. So this is the main disadvantage in comparing line segments by mere observation. We are just observing and we are unable to tell whether any given line is equal or not. So we can say our judgment could go wrong by mere observation, as in this case. We cannot be always sure about the accuracy of our judgment. Judgments is an easy way to distinguish between two objects of high difference, like we have A, B and C, D, where difference was very high. But it doesn't help much in observing objects of very less difference. Therefore, this is the disadvantage in comparing line segments by mere observation. So this was your question one. Question two, why is it better to use a divider than a ruler while measuring the length of a line segment? So the solution is, if we have a line segment, this is a line segment and uh, we are looking from the left side and right side. So we will not be able to actual dimension, whereas the correct eye position is vertical to that point. This is the correct one. So this all leads to positioning error. To get the correct measure, the eye should be correctly positioned just vertical above the mark. Otherwise, errors can happen due to angular viewing. So in order to remove it, it is better to use a divider than a ruler while measuring of a line segment in order to measure correctly by eliminating positioning error. So with the help of divider, we are able to eliminate positioning error. So that's why we use divider rather than using eye positioning. So this was your question number two. Third, draw any line segment, say AB. Take any point C lying in between A and B. Measure the lengths of AB, BC and AC. Is AB equal to AC plus CB? So we will construct first of all AB, this is our AB and we take it 20 units. Units can be any measure. So we have constructed AB. Now we are taking a point C which is in between A and B, that is in between. What does it mean in between? It means that distance from AC and CB would be equal. For example, here we have 20, so we will divide it into 10 plus 10 units. You can count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is our BC. Now AC, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we will see whether AB equal to AC plus CB. Well, yes, 10 plus 10 units gives you 20 units. Therefore, we can say AB equal to AC plus CB. Therefore, answer is, it is true. Now, we can see if ABC are any three points on the line such that AC plus CB equal to AB, then we can be sure that C lies in between A and B. So this is how we check whether a point is between or not. This was your question third. Fourth, if ABC are three points on a line such that AB equal to 5 cm, BC equal to 3 cm and AC equal to 8 cm, which one of them lies between the other two? So this is our line AC. Now we have AB equal to 5 cm and BC equal to 3 cm. We have made it. This is okay. Now BC, 3 cm. This is our 3 cm. And if our AC is 8 cm, well, yes, here it is 8 cm because 5 plus 3 gives you 8 cm. Which one of them lies between the other two? So here B lies in between. It is clearly visible in our case. This was your question fourth. Fifth, verify whether D is the midpoint of AG, line segment AG. So we have here AG. Now we have to check whether D is a midpoint. And we have learned from previous examples that D will be middle if the left hand side equal to right hand side. So here we have three units, that is AD and DG again, three units. One, two, three, you can see here three units. Now from D to G, we can see it is again one, two, three units. So in total we have six units. Therefore, our answer is D is the midpoint of AG because 
AD equal to BG equal to both three units? That was your question fifth. Question sixth. If B is the midpoint of line segment AC and C is the midpoint of line segment BD, where ABCD lie on a straight line, say Y AB equal to CD. So this is a question that we have this line, a straight line, where AC we have constructed equal to 20 units, 10 plus 10 units, 20 units, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so BC is 10 units, and again AB we have 10 units. We have to check whether it is midpoint of BD, whether C is midpoint of BD. Well, again, yes, this is true. Because we have 10, 10 units on the both side. Now, where ABCD line a straight line, say Y AB equal to CD. So we can say that AB equal to CD because we have 10 units here and we have 10 units here. Therefore, BC equal to CD. We have to check it indirectly. Therefore, the result is AB equal to CD because all the dimensions are of 10 units. This was your question sixth. Seventh, draw five triangles and measure their sides. Check in each case if the sum of the lengths of any two sides is always less than the third side. So we will construct the triangles. So if we take any of the triangle, then we will check whether the condition is true or not. So first of all, we will take six plus four is ten, which is seven. Here it is not greater. Again, 7 plus 4 is 11, which is not again. Now, 7 plus 6 gives you 13, which is not less than 4. Now, here, 7 is not less than 5. Then again, 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, is not less than 3. And again, 5 plus 3, 8, is not less than 4. So, here now, 10 is not less than 5. Again, 10 is not less than 5. We are just adding the two sides and checking whether it is less than the last side or not. So, here it is also not possible. Taking in case of this triangle, we have 11 plus 10 is 21 and 11 plus 22. 11 plus 11, 22. So, in this way, we will check the rest of the triangles. So, we will always find it. So, whenever we we'll check for this triangle, it's always true that the sum of two sides of the triangle will always be greater than the third side. It will not be less than the third side. This was your question. Sir.